In this little tutorial, what I'm going to go over is my technique for headlight materials and how I set it up. Now, this is not going to be me fine-tuning it to make sure it's 100% accurate to what the real headlight looks like, but it's definitely going to teach the concept of how I go about creating the materials and what they pretty much consist of looking like. So here I have a headlight of the brand new Mini Cooper, and what I will do first is create a little light setup just so I can have a template for reflections and blacks in the scene. So, as always, make sure perspective is locked and turn on Corona RT. So, just go into the top view. I'm going to create an overhead light, a little bit above the source. Tone it down a bit. Create a side light. And then duplicate it with a bit of a 45 degree turn. And all of them facing the headlight. So now we should get some plain reflections. And we'll still remain having some blacks for the reflections to play off of. So the next thing I'm going to do is make sure all the lights are invisible and wireframe. Go to the render settings, make sure hidden lights is on, and hide the light sources. So now all we have is the headlights. Okay, so first thing, now I don't think this car really has this effect, however if you are interested in how to do it, I, that's what I'm going to show you. So. A lot of exotics have this, and it's that oily look over the headlight cover. So, for instance, here I have a headlight cover glass material. Now, what I will be doing is creating a chrono material. It takes a second. make the diffuse black reflection of one refraction of one so now we have a basic glass and the next thing you want to do with any headlight is make sure that the actual headlight cover glass is three-dimensional it has depth to it if it does not you will have very bizarre reflections behind the glass so the best way to check that is to create a sphere, or obviously if you already saw some distortion happening, that will be enough. So here I'm just going to make a sphere, and then this, if you hide it, the sphere should be exactly where it is, like so. So we are good. Now like, let's say you do not have a three-dimensional headlight with depth. See how it distorts? And this happens all the time, and I've actually seen renders with this occurring. So make sure you check your glass, and make sure it always glass has thickness to it. So, there's that. I'm going to delete the sphere. And hide everything. So there's our headlight glass. Very simple. Now, if you want to give it that oily look, what you have to do is create a gradient map. And what I did is I already have it saved out for myself. So I'll just drag it into here. But all it is is a gradient map with different color tones and you'll see it in a second okay here it is the headlight oil map is just a gradient ramp so here it is I have red green blue red green blue red green blue that's the whole concept gradient type you have to make sure it's normal and that's it and it as you can see maps itself onto the thing now what you want to do is there's two methods. One you could just change the percentage of how much the map affects it. So as you can see you can see subtle hints of the reflection or the colors in the refraction. Or what you can do is you could copy it. Let me close all this, it takes a minute to load. And make this a fall off. Disregard that. So now what we will do is, I'm just going to make these colors so we can see what's happening where. Bring this in, 
like that. So as you can see, now we're getting some overlay. So when we directly look at it, it's the blue color. And on the outsides, we get hints of the red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the, ref the colors, the rainbows, on the outside. I'm going to bring them in closer. So there we go. And this I will just make pure white. So now, as you can see, when we directly look at it, it's see-through, but on the edges, we get the rainbow. And the next thing I will do, I'll make this also pure white and change the percentage of this to about 50 or so. I want to feel it there, but I don't really want to definitely see it. I want to see just a hint of it. Okay, so I'm happy with that. And this is something you can play with to your liking. So whatever it is you're working with, you can adjust and fine-tune. The next thing is plastic black. So very simple, give us some reflection, diffuse the reflection, tone down the reflection color so we get some of that contrast back in the material. And the next thing, I never like my materials to be perfect, so all you have to do is load a map that has some kind of black and white debris or imperfections preview it on the model. Now as you can see the tiling is not good so what I will do select all the blocks and give them a quick box UV map. This way I can start getting some imperfections. Now as you can see in the highlights we are getting the imperfections. Tone down the percentage how much I blend the map with the color just so we get a hint of it. The next thing is if we zoom in see how I have razor sharp edges more than likely I will never see this, however if I do have it, I, I always like to add a little corona round edges just to soften it up. Okay, And typically plastic on headlights always has a little, a little bit of noise, so what I will do is use corona normal and add a normal map into the bump slot. So the one I usually use for lights or any kind of plastic is a orange peel map. So there we go. Go in, fix the gamma problem. So as you can see now this is really tiled largely, but because we did add UV coordinates to our plastic, I could either add another map channel or I'm just going to bump up the tiling in here to get it to my liking. So there we go and then just tone down the strength of that. Now that we have that dialed in, just give it a little more reflection get a little juicier. There we go, zoom in on this edge that's razor sharp. And I feel like we could soften that up just, just a little bit more. There we go. So that is definitely something I'm pretty happy with without getting further into fine tuning it. So I'm going to hide all the plastics or all the blacks. The next material is so this is just simple glass and it's this cover and then this outside frosted cover. It's not really frost, it just has details inside of it. So again, full reflection, full refraction. Now I will isolate it real quick because I want to see it on black. And we are seeing the details. Now what I do want to check is to see what corona round edges will do. Sometimes this helps with glass, sometimes it does not. I have to be very fine. So there's the width. There's without. Not a huge difference, but I will leave it simply because I like to use it if I can. So there we go. We have a lot of ridges. Everything's showing up the way it should. Okay. We're going to hide the glass. Next in line is our chrome reflectors. It's very simple. Make it dark, one, bump up the IOR, give it a slight blur, very little, just enough to make sure it's not perfect. <coughs> All right, now, right here, perfect place to look. As you can see, we have a sharp edge, 
So let's soften it just a little bit. I think 0 0.002 might work again, or 0 0.001 because of how fine it is. There we go. Just a little bit, but enough to give it a nice, nice weld type look. So there's that. There's our nice chrome reflector. Hide all those. All right, so next thing is we have a glass LED front. Now, there's the reason why I gave it the solar material. It's just another glass material, and then there's LEDs on the back. However, I suspect typically these that are on the back side with LEDs hitting them, they kind of make it look like an angel eye on a BMW. So what's going to probably happen is this is going to be diffused glass versus clear glass. So that's what we're going to do here. We're going to really diffuse it. Bump, run around edges once more. So there we go, we have our diffused glass. All right, we're gonna hide that. Metal silver. Now this, this is the hero outside metal. And from the reference I'm looking at, it's a dark, darker metal. And it is very diffused, it's not very chromey. So about a 0.75 maybe. Maybe even bump up the IOR a bit. My thing froze on me. Alright, so 0.8, make sure RT is working again. Okay, so 0.75 as always. And from the reference, it looks like it has a little bit of bump. So we will we'll do the same thing we've done earlier. Add a little edge text. Then here, add Corona Normal. Add a Gamma Fix. And now load in our metallic orange peel. So take a look at it. Now, as you can see, the problem we're having is this and this. They're all the same material, but the UVs aren't consistent. So as earlier, select them all and add a quick UV map to it. One, 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 and because this is more or less the only map we're going to apply, we can just dial in the UV so it's more appropriate. There we go. Tone down the power of that so it's not as dominant. Now what I will do is bump up the IOR a bit. I want more reflection, but I still want it to be diffuse. Now I am going to bump down the diffuse color. I'm going to let the reflection do more of the work. So now we're getting kind of like a satin metallic feel to it. Do 1.8. All right, so there we go. Hide those. We only have a couple materials left. So this emblem, it looks like the other chrome, except it's a little more diffused. So that's why I gave it its own material. There we go. And just in case, let's do Corona round edges as well. 0 0.001, because that's what we use on the outside trim. And last but not least, the orange light bulb. Or not light bulb, the orange light. Light bulb, yes. Okay, so now when I do my orange lights, I typically like to unhide all the metal reflectors that it affects. So when you dial in the material, you kind of see how it plays off the metals in the environment to make sure your orange is dialed in accurately. So I like to make my diffuse as well, like a dark shade of orange. This is where I'm going to get the contrast from. Reflection color, refraction, pure, and then give it the refraction orange tone. Now what will probably happen is we have to make the refraction tone a little more yellow, but as you can see, it's not as sensitive to the saturation of it. So even though this feels like it should be green or very yellowish, it still contains that orange feel to it. Alright, so we don't have to have that. Maybe darken this even more. And I'll give it a little bit of diffusion. So that, more or less, is the hero headlight. So let's say, yeah, we're good. We got our headlight, but we kind of want to do like a nighttime shot. 
you know, before we continue, I'm going to do a quick, quick adjustment. This metal is not as bright as it should be. So what I will do here is just bump up the diffuse a little bit. And maybe bump up the reflection of the metal. And that's helping bring it back into where it should be. Now our headlight glass might be a little too reflective, which is starting to kill the mood of the inside of the headlight. So sometimes you will have to tone down the reflection of the glass so you can see more of the inside. So there's that. Now we have this beam glass. This is all plastic, so that's good. So now, last thing I will show you is, let's say you want to turn the headlights on. So what we will do is, we will unhide, render hidden lights, so now our whole environment is dead. So here they are. Here are our LED lights. And what I will do is I will select all of them. And because I did not have an independent material on them, I have to do it manually right now. Bear with me for a second. And we are done. Okay, so there we go. We're going to unhide all because we have to see how it all plays together. And just make a new material LED headlight. And make this a Corona light material. Apply that. And so un uncheck occlude other lights. And now we just bump up the value of it. And we don't even have to go too far. And this from the reference is a little bit on the warmer side. So just give it a little bit of warmth, not too much. And so now you have a nice diffused headlight LED. It illuminates it quite well because you can see we're starting to see some definition in the headlight. So that typically is how I would do my headlights. But let's say in case you're not liking how this is illuminating the headlight. It's just not good enough. What you could also do is you can select this strip and you can apply the material to it. And now you'll have a more solid, solid line. And that could be good for if you're doing a really high exposure type concept for a photo. But if you're not, and you would see the fine details in the headlight, like you normally do kind of want to, this would be the better way to go about it. And then the last thing what you can do is, same thing goes for the orange light. Let's say you're doing a shot where it's a turn signal. What I typically like to do is make a Corona layered material. Keep that. Copy this over here. Make this really orange. So there we go. Yeah, make it a bright orange. What you may want to do also is a fall off. So that way your light has some depth in it. There we go. And now all you have to do is right now it's orange glass. Is just swap between the two. So you can have it on or off depending on what your situation is. So, like that. And the same thing goes for this LED light, chrono layered material. Keep, copy the glass over here, percentage zero, and then swap them out. So let's turn the hidden lights back on. There we go. Having a nice hero shot, and if you want to, turn the headlights back on. So that's quickly the concept of how I create my Corona headlight materials. Now, from time to time, I will fine tune them more, use a few other concepts here and there, depending on how I need it to look for a shot. But in general, this should be a great starting point, a good foundation to play off of.